All right. Well, thank you for uh, for coming out. Just a short update into the investigation uh, regarding Bruce MacArthur. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the witnesses and uh, people who have come forward and called us. Uh, we've been following up on a, a lot of off a lot of tips, and it's been some great information. So thank you very much to you guys for getting uh, the story out there, and thank you to all the people who have, who have called in. Uh, what we're beginning today is the excavation of the backyard here at 53 Mallory. Uh, Dr. Grusbier is here. She's a friend, forensic anthropologist who works with the Ontario Pathologist's Office, and uh, she'll be overseeing that dig. Uh, we're finished in the house here at Mallory, so uh, hopefully we can get the occupants back into the house, although they won't be able to go into the backyard. Uh, as far as the ongoing investigation uh, goes, I can now confirm we have recovered the remains of at least six individuals uh, over the last week and a half. Uh, and we've identified some of the body parts as belonging to one of the victims whom we charged Mr. MacArthur with the murder of, and that's Andrew Kinsman. And uh, that's where we stand right now. The identification of the other remains is, is still ongoing. Okay, does that fix on top of the three that were already found? So is it nine uh, bodies that were found? No, it's six total now. So of the six, one of the six is Andrew Kinsman? There are body parts which we can say belong to Andrew Kinsman amongst those six, yes. How, how are you able to identify those parts so quickly? I won't get into that. Can you tell us if you have DNA from the you anticipate more charges being laid? Sorry? Do you anticipate more charges being laid? I do anticipate more charges being laid. I don't have a timetable for that. I don't have a number for that. But I, I would expect more charges will Can eventually be laid. Just to clarify, we still stand accused of first degree murder of five victims. But you believe at this point there are six victims that you know of? We have the remains of six individuals that we've recovered so far. And is that from this area here? So far, they're all from 53 Mallory. And so that those were discovered in the planters as well. So six in those planters that we see here. Correct. Have you, have you located uh, the proper boyfriend, partner? Have you located him yet? I'm not going to discuss who we've spoken to uh, in regards. That would be a witness issue, so I'm not going to be able to discuss that. Have you, you found so any I just wanted to clarify again. This, these remaining, uh, the remains all found here. Correct. Have you found anything else at any of the other properties? Not yet. Do you, you have DNA that? evidence from the three men with missing under Project Houston? I'm sorry? Do you have DNA, uh, DNA evidence of, or DNA remains of the three men with missing under we, Project Houston? We do, do have, have we do have DNA profiles of at least two of those men. So we're working on which DNA. Many missing DNA? I'm not going to specify which ones we have. So the five remains that have not been identified yet, are those people apart from these others who you if I knew who they were, I'd be able to answer that question. But are you saying that it cannot be the ones who are named that he's already facing the murder charges? I'm for? not saying that. Do you see this investigation expanding the longer it goes on? Are you, are you, is it getting bigger for you guys? It is getting bigger, and, and we are getting more resources uh, the further we go along. So it's going to be a very, very extensive investigation as we go. The planters have received at the other properties, nothing discovered in those? Not yet. We haven't quite gone through all of them yet, so we're still working on that. How many do you have left to go We have approximately 15 planters in total, so exactly left? where we are in the examination of those planters, I'm not going to say yet. Can you so if you have five well? charges and you have six bodies, what happens in that case where, let's say you're not able to identify who this six person is, are you able to lay a charge still? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully, we'll be able to identify that uh, that individual. Can you get the search the department? Yeah. You, last time you spoke, you said you've only kind of just begun the forensic analysis of the department. Can you get Correct. To that? I, t uh, hard to say. Uh, we're still going through that. We've actually had multiple teams of forensic officers going through that apartment. It's It's been a couple of weeks already, and I would expect it's probably going to be at least another couple of weeks before we're done there. Is, is there Last there, time you so. talked about wanting to ex excavate another site as well. Where is that at? I'm not going to specify where that site is. But there still is a second site that it will be excavated? There is a second site that we're interested in and might depend what we find at this site. Is there an overseas component uh, to this as well? Are you getting people calling from overseas? Maybe people came to Toronto and never returned home? Does that happen? 
Uh, not specifically that situation, but we are dealing with some agencies overseas. Um, we did as well during Project Houston, so that's those are still avenues we're pursuing. What's happening under the tent? Can you just paint us a picture of what is going on there today, what, what it looks like? All that is under that tent is a, uh, is a grassy area that we've scanned with uh, the OPP's ground penetrating radar. We've identified some spots in there that we're interested in and we've been heating that ground now for, for over a week. Um, and I'm led to believe that it's probably still not completely thawed. So we hope to dig down until we can't dig anymore, uh, which may be a matter of inches. And then we may have to leave it for another day or two, let it thaw some more, and then continue digging. So it's going to be a long process. And the role of the anthropologist and the other and the team that's here today? Sorry? What? She's overseeing the excavation. So this I'm confused. morning we saw some four different forensic investigators dressed in these white suits coming out with bags and boxes of evidence. You say you've completed the interior of the home. Give us an idea of uh, what, what would they have been bringing up? I can't get into specifics about uh, exhibits that have been seized. Sorry. You know, you search, he, he knew, we knew that he lived on a farm in, around Fenland Mall in Cornwall Lakes. Do you, you have to search that farm or do you plan to? Not at this time, no, not unless something comes up that leads us to that farm. So, just to be clear, you said you're finished with the inside of the home, but the backyard, the excavation was posted. Correct. Do you have a sense of how many missing personal occurrences you're, you're kind of going through? I mean, I'm not just, I'm just, there are hundreds of outstanding missing person occurrences. Um, again, the first phase of the investigation, I've said this before, we're, we're focusing right now on what we have already, which is the remains and uh, the evidence that we've uncovered already, hoping to identify those victims. And then we'll start working back through some missing persons occurrences. We're gonna go back quite far. So there are literally hundreds of them. Some of the missing person timelines are still a little bit fuzzy. You don't know what day or month some of these guys are missing on. Have you been able to tell them any of those plans get more specific about things? I, th I think uh, with, the, with the charges that we've laid so far, uh, we're down to within weeks for, if not, Mr. Kinsman was, was very specific. We know the exact day. Uh, some of the others, we have it down to within weeks. Mr. Lissowick is a little more difficult, but we're, we're narrowing that, that down as well. Again, thanks to the coverage from you guys and getting it out there and people are calling us who knew him and uh, helping us out with that. You said you found remains from uh, six people in those planters, I believe, yes? Yes. Uh, have you ruled out that it's an additional six on top of the, well, I guess an additional five on top of the five that you've already charged uh, MacArthur? I haven't ruled no. that out, no. You did say six total. Six total. Yeah. So it could, it could theoretically be 11 people, it could be 10, no, right? We have I'm not going to speculate on that right now. Could you talk about okay. what uh, Bruce MacArthur did inside the house? We'd always talk, heard about him being a gardener outside. Yeah, I, ca I can't get specific about what exactly his role was here. Were you going through planters or other things inside the home? We're going through the entire home. Has a garage been cleared as well? Yes. How and much you... longer would you say before the homeowners can return here? Homeowners can probably return here tonight if they, if they want. Uh, I've got officers who are trying to contact them and we have no issue at all with them going back into their house now that we're done with the inside. They just can't go out to do Correct. How long do you think you're going to be in the backyard with this excavation? It really depends on the weather and how far we have to dig. We see how, how, how deep the ground is. Uh, I could hazard a guess of maybe a week, a week and a half. So we'll see how the thawing process goes. Detective, the bodies were found all in the backyard. Were they found in separate areas or is there one sort of cool place? Uh, I can't get into specifics about which parts were found where, but they were all within planters that were recovered from the property. Have you spoken with Andrew Kinsman's family? I've got some officers who have been speaking with them regularly, yes. And they've, they've been made aware that we do have some remains that belong to him. At what Can point will they be able to bury his remains? That's up to the uh, forensic pathologist's office. Mm -hmm. As soon as they're done with all their examinations, have, their remains have, should be returned. Do you have a better estimation of cause of death? Not at this time, no. Do you have any, any suggestion that, um, that he, he being MacArthur, kept body parts around, or do you believe that he discarded them immediately after allegedly committing these homicides? Or? Well, it depends on what you mean by kept. Kept the close, kept the body parts that remains close to, to him or his, his residence. Well, he kept them in planters in a in a house that he was at quite quite often, so. To, to that extent, he did keep those body parts close. Do you have a, a lot site? about the physical search 
um, that's happening at a number of properties, but what's happening in terms of a digital investigation as well? We know we use online and we use, you know, social media as well as dating sites and things like that. Can you just give us a to the, um, the investigation that's happening online as well? Uh, there is an extensive digital investigation going on. We're going through the computers, we're going through cell phones, we're going through online uh, uh, applications and, and different apps. Uh, we're preparing warrants and have prepared warrants on, on different uh, providers. So that's a very huge, very big part of this investigation as well. We so. heard that you're taking the investigation outside of Toronto looking across Ontario. Can you update us on where that's at, particularly into his, his past maybe as a traveling salesman? Well, we are definitely going to look at his past and uh, and take a look at where he's been and if we can link any uh, outstanding homicides or missing persons to him, then we'll pursue that when we get there. And you, have you been working with the other, uh, police, uh, other police forces? We have been in contact with other police forces, yes. Ones? No, I can't. Considering do you know the where the location of the murders actually took place? Do you think it's the same one for all the victims? I do know the locations, I'm not going, some of the locations, and I'm not going to specify. So you say clearly you're, you're assuming it's more than one location? <laughs> no, I, I said I, I'm aware of some of the locations, yes. So, so you don't Considering that you took planters from other places, uh, but this appears to be kind of ground zero, have you kind of determined that this is where the bodies were buried, or are you still looking to be in contact with any other people who had work done by Bruce? Absolutely. If there's any other people who had work done by Mr. MacArthur who haven't contacted us yet, I'd ask that they, they do contact us. Do you know they, they were all charges? killed in yep. Toronto? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's it, folks. Thank you very much. Okay. There's more, sorry, just one clarification. There's more than one location where you believe the alleged killed the victims? Yes. 